Hello everybody, KOR Speedy here, and welcome to my setup video. I figured I'd shoot this video at my house as opposed to at college, because at college, I don't have as much space and things are really cluttered. And this is what things look like when I come home for weekends occasionally, or when I'm home for summer. So what you're going to notice is it's an incredibly makeshift setup. I have end tables holding some stuff up, but it's really nice because I have space, and at college, like I said, I'm really cramped, so I do like it more here at home. As for one of the things I want to talk about first, the question I get the most on my channel was what capture card I use. So what I use is the Roxio GameCap HD Pro, this little guy over here. The thing I really like about this capture card is the fact that it's pretty much an all-in-one capture card. It has the ability to record HD gameplay on your Xbox or your PS3, and one thing that's really nice about it for Xbox users is the fact that it has HDMI support for Xbox users. It still does have the component cables as you see on the back and on the front there, but what you see is I only have two cables coming in and out of it, and that makes it very nice because with my old capture card I had 12 or 13 cables coming in and out of it, and it's very nice to have that extra space and a lot less clutter. Another thing that's nice about this, it pretty much can do anything. Like I said before, you have the ability to record PC gameplay even with this guy, and you have the ability to live stream off the device. And another thing that's great about it is if you don't have an editing program, it comes with an editing program with it, so it's one thing that's really nice about it. Another thing that's really nice is that it runs a cheaper price than some other capture cards out there. It's actually $50 or so cheaper, and it's a very nice deal. As for my computers over here, I have two laptops. The one on the right is the one I use the most. The one on the left is the one I got before I started YouTube, and I recently replaced it this summer with this gaming laptop on the right. It's an MSI GT70, whatever that means. I'm not really a PC guy, to be honest, and uh, I don't know much about laptops, computers, but I know what I need to do to make my videos, and that's enough for me. As you can see, it has a pretty cool keyboard there. It actually um, pulsates between colors and stuff like that. There's a whole program that you can, uh, you know, mess around with it. And it's a pretty cool laptop. I really like how it works. It, I haven't really done much with PC gaming on. I'm actually getting a new computer here soon for that as well. And then the one on the left, like I said, it was a little outdated. I got this prior to me starting YouTube, so it's not really the best computer for what I was doing with YouTube. But for everything I was doing at college and stuff, it was great. It's a perfect laptop for that. And over here we have my Philips 32-inch TV. We got some Viva Pinata going on on the screen there, just to give a nice little, you know, Viva Pinata feel to the video. But um, it, it's a good TV. It gets the job done, and I really like it. So. And down here we have my Blue Snowball microphone. It's a decent microphone when it works, but when it doesn't work, it is a very, very big problem. I've had a lot of audio corrupted with the thing. Maybe I'm not using it right. I'm pretty sure I am. I've gone through uh, some tech support issues with it, but it doesn't really work. But the cool thing is we have a bird up here. We're going to follow this little guy around. Who's a good birdie? Who's a good bird? But yeah, I, um, I get distracted easily. Sorry about that. But isn't that a cool bird? Isn't that awesome? Isn't that cool? Alright, back to the mic. It sucks. Yeah, that's my final opinion on that. Alright, moving on over here, we have some games that I play a lot. Mostly um, some Call of Duties and some Grand Theft Auto. Got some Gears of War and some Halo games in there. Nothing too special. I have other games somewhere else, but I don't even know where they are anymore. I never even play them. But yeah, that's, those are my games. Now moving on up here, we have two standard Xbox Live controllers. I no longer use these guys because the one I use is on the right here. This is my custom controller from Fierce Customs. The thing I really like about this controller is the fact that it's customized. It has my name on it. It has KYR on the XYB buttons. It looks pretty good. And it has purple and blue pearlescent paint. looks really good. It has some LEDs on the Xbox Live button there. And if you guys are interested in getting a controller like this, Fierce Controllers is doing a giveaway with me. And on their channel, they have a video talking about the giveaway. There'll be a link in the description to that if you guys want to check that out and try to win a controller. I also have a discount code for their website if you guys are interested in trying to get a controller for a cheaper price. And you can do it there. Now moving on over here, we have my headset. It's Turtle Beach X12s. I don't think it's the greatest headset in the world. Obviously, it's only a $60 headset as opposed to some people who get $200, $300 headsets so that's really not my thing I'd rather just have a headset that's good enough to get the job done and it does I have no complaints with it and I really don't sound whore that much so it's no big deal to me and moving on down here I don't know how I forgot to show you guys my Xbox but this is my Xbox it's from 2005 2006 I forget what year I got it. it's one of the first ones I have my Unreal Tournament faceplate on it which is pretty awesome and it's a pretty good Xbox to be honest this thing has trucked through a lot it's had red rings three times now and it's been working through it pretty good I had to send it back into them a few times to get it fixed for the red rings and everything but it's still trucking on and eventually I'm gonna have to upgrade because this thing is it's on its final leg there's not much left to this guy either way I hope you guys enjoy my setup video there'll be links to all the stuff I talked about in the video description so you guys can check some certain things out also I just want to thank you guys for all the support it really means a lot to me I really appreciate all the support you guys give me it's awesome and overall, I hope you guys like my makeshift setup here. It's definitely not permanent. Hopefully in the future, I can make things permanent, maybe get a nice desk, have some stuff to set everything up on as opposed to working off end tables. But that's just how things are right now. And as a college student, constantly moving back and forth, 
this is the best I can really do for right now. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day.